Well, good afternoon, everyone. And here we are with my podcast, Let's Talk Houston. And welcome, welcome, welcome. We have a very special guest in the studio with us today. And her name is Dr. Jacqueline Horton Cobbin. She's a phenomenal woman of God. She is, I'm talking about lives, breathes, eats, sleeps the word of God. She's strong and she's fortified in her faith. She is a counselor. She is an educator. She is a principal. She is an international author. She is a motivational speaker. But most of all, she's the child of the king. Say and I'm that again. I am I, the child of the king, baby. I say, but most of all, most of all, she is a child of the king. king. Yeah. And she walks boldly yes, in I authority. Do. Oh, yes, I do. For the Lord. <laughs> That's yes. why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I've come boldly tonight, baby. Yes. To support this podcast. Well, amen. And Praise God. Yes, yes. God has a lot in store for you. Dr. I receive, Lynn, I receive, receive that. I receive okay? it. Yes. And that's why I'm your first. Yes. Your first guest. Yes. Because we've come to set the stage set for the what precedent. is about to happen. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm going from podcast to TV show. Yes. Yes, I receive you are. It. Receive it. Oh, yes. I receive, receive it. Receive that with all these followers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's yes. do it. Let's do this. So <laughs> we're going to start tagging our friends. And if yes. you would, please start tagging your friends. Uh -huh. We're going to go in and we're going to. I want you to click like, okay. share, okay. come on in, come on in. Yes. And we are tagging our friends. Tagging our friends. We're going to your page, right? Is yes. That where we're going? That's where I'm going. Uh, okay. I Let's see. see your page right here. Mm -hmm. yeah, I see us right here. Ooh, look see? at us. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm going to go in and we're going okay. to, okay. I want you to click like, mm -hmm. share. Okay. Come I'm on looking. in. Come okay, on come on in. in. All the way down. We've done that. Okay, now we're going to tag, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so where's the tag button? Where's the tag got button? In. Yes, right. They are. Come on, come on in. in. there. Come on in. Come on in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Yes, this is back, back, back behind the scenes. It's all right. People. You just have to see your tag to uh, people. Uh, uh, like, share. That's what I do. Like and. Well, I share. can see that I'm live on everybody else's page, yeah. but uh, where am I live on my own page? Okay. <laughs> what, what, what page did you put? What page did you log in? Uh huh. I'm on, on I'm on her page. My main page. Yeah. I'm on my main page, right? So what is, is Judith? Judith, uh -huh. what? Judith Gooden Hicks. Judith Gooden Hicks. Gooden Hicks. Mm -hmm. Is that where y'all see me? Okay, yes. Right now, there you go, right there. Yeah. When you go to your page, all you got to do is scroll down oh. right there, and I got you right there. Oh, wow. You look, look the we've got some. Yes, oh, wow. Well, thank you. All Praise of the Lord. those people. Yeah. They're oh, my wow. people. My people, babe. So now we need to tag. I need to tag. Yeah. But just tell the people to share yeah, like right and now. share. Okay. Like and share. Like you guys share. see that? Like and share. And if you've got any comments, write the comments in on the page. We'll mm -hmm. take those comments. That's we'll, right. We'll run with them. Your first podcast, uh -huh. It's our first podcast. Uh -huh. So, so <laughs> okay, it's our premiere podcast. It is our debut podcast. And so we're working through some things here, but we're going to have some extra time. We're going to give you all a full hour to sit at the feet of the illustrious Dr. Jacqueline Horton Cobbin. My, 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 it's my, a my. privilege. It's a privilege because I tell you what, anytime you're in the presence of Dr. Jacqueline Horton Cobbin, you are going to get some life lessons. You are going wow. to get some yeah. golden nuggets, whether you want to or not. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Cobbin is going to teach you something before you leave her presence. I love being around Dr. Cobb. I've learned so much from Dr. Cobb. It's an honor. You know, it's an honor to call her friend. Yeah. Because, you know, she's she's, she's always there for you. If you call her, if you text her, she's never turned me down. She's always been there for me. And I so appreciate her. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. Let's continue to invite friends. Let's continue to share. Hit like. And I'm going to. Play a little music. Play a little music play here. Little music. Let's play you a little know how song we are about music. Mm -hmm. baby. <laughs> I'm gonna play a little music and get y'all warmed up here, and I'm going to be back in just a moment. Is that how we do it? Well, okay, now I don't hear. It. Oh.
But I got no options, and I can't be stopped. I'ma keep on walking in my power and my purpose, and that backbite so worthless. And my faith on and it's working. I'm one of one, and I'm certain that I won the battle. It's over, we did it. I'm still, I'm C, I'm P, no limit. Can't stop it. It's me and Corbin in the pocket. Got the plug in the socket. <laughs> they told you that you couldn't do it 'cause you're washed up. Been like them bad girls that you should get your soul up. But I got this plan, and you might not understand. I'ma go hard as I can, and I won't be the boss of. Just watch me do this, put no limits on the swag on it. Walk right up to the front where I belong and brag on it. Go to the top, I'ma give it all I got. Work might take a lot, but we ain't gonna let it stop. I do believe I'm something special. Can't take that from me. So you can say what you want, I go harder, stronger, be who I'm supposed to be. 'Cause I'm unstoppable. <laughs> About it, I go get it. That's how I do it. Not in the stars. I'm not lucky. I just pray through it. Follow my face, and I might make mistakes, but I don't let it break me. 'Cause I'm still on my way. I don't believe I'm something special. Can't take that from me. So you can say what you want. I go harder, stronger. studio here at the home of GMT studio. And again, we have our special guest with us today, Dr. Jacqueline Horton Cobbin. Yeah. And so Dr. Cobbin, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, well, I am so excited about being here. That's the first thing I want you to know. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for you, Thank you and everything that God is going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, as it relates to me, you know, I'm an educator. Yes. That's how Uh, you and I really, really, really connect mm -hmm. in the field of education. Yeah. Along with being uh, a member of Windsor Village United yes. Methodist Church, you and I sang in the choir together. Yes, we so did. We got that Many connection. years. That's right. That's <laughs> right. And so I just want to share with the listening audience a little bit about my background. Yes. Even though you hear all the titles and what have you, I just want them to know mm -hmm. what it is that uh, I am about as it relates to kingdom work. Yes. You hear the word kingdom work all the time, you guys, but mm -hmm. it's important that we all understand that we have a responsibility, not only to ourselves, right. our family, our friends, but to a generation, yeah. a generation of individuals that are coming up behind us and who are on the side of us and really and truly want to get this this uh, feeling, more than a feeling, this excitement mm -hmm. about life, because you and I have that. Yes. No matter what's going on around us, we really and truly have that. So what is it about me that makes me so special? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I don't think I am as special as um, 
you say that I am. I appreciate it. I really and truly do. Oh, I totally but I think believe you, you I know you believe I am. And I receive it. I, I, oh, I receive it. I receive the compliments, all of that. But you know, the most um, the most important comf- uh, uh, compliment yes. for me to receive is when someone says she's a child of God. Yes. She's a woman of God. Yes. You know, none of us, as I speak well to a lot of people, none of us would want all of our life our life mm-hmm. uh, plastered on a wall someplace right. the past even mm-hmm. the present right. so hopefully the future because we all mm-hmm. try to become better yeah but with that in mind i am truly mm-hmm. a believer of the lord god almighty yes. and he runs yes he runs my life oh yeah he, you know he does oh yes I do. <laughs> <laughs> he runs my life and mm-hmm. all of the accolades all of the things that i have accomplished along the way yeah i give god glory and praise and honor for what he has done for me yeah. what he has taken my life and molded and shaped it into this appointed time mm. so that i can be uh an impact mm. to other women and men along the way yeah. and you know the buzzword now is the influential person you want yes. to be of influence an influencer of influencer come uh-huh. on with it an influencer <laughs> uh-huh. to people that are around us yes. so that's who i am i just love god i serve him i serve his people and i go around like a cheerleader yes. letting folks know you do. how good god is and, and what he can do for you yes and so uh-huh. dr Kyber, uh-huh. you're you're not a native Houstonian, so you started becoming a cheerleader yeah. outside of the state of Texas. So where, did, where I mean, where did you join the team? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you, I'm a Southern girl. <laughs> I am a Southern girl. Yes. I came out of Memphis, Tennessee. Yes. My mom had a garden in the backyard mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I hung my petticoat slips on the line and <laughs> We had the washing machine that went through that little ringer thing and uh-huh. all of that. So uh-huh. I am from Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. And I am a product of Douglas High School. And yes. I was a cheerleader. You know what I yes, mean? I yes. was a cheerleader. I used to strut my stuff <laughs> as some of these girls are doing. You know, and yes, I knew yes. that. Mm-hmm. I knew who I was mm-hmm. because my mom taught me exactly who I am and what I was to become. So all of this side of me that that you guys love Uh and appreciate, the clothing, the Uh flair, and, you know, being real, the glitz and glamour. And the glamour, (laughs) that's right, that's right. The way I strut myself when Uh I enter a room, Uh oh, yeah, all that was taught, baby. (laughs) And it came out of Memphis, Tennessee. Now, be be mindful that when I graduated from high school, it was in the midst of civil rights. Yes. So Dr. King had just been slain in Memphis when I was a senior in Mm, high school. Yes. And so uh, we were actually um, out of state singing with the gospel choir of Mm. our our school. And we were blocked from even coming back into Memphis because of all of the things that were going on. Mm -hmm. But I remember as a a student in high school how we were tipped out of high school school Uh and uh, participate in the sit-ins. My Uh dad worked downtown and I had a girlfriend of mine that we would hop on the bus. That's when we were sitting in the back of the bus. Uh I want to, I want to mention that because those who know me now, I don't sit in the back of any place. (laughs) If you're walking in a restaurant with me, you're going to the front of the restaurant. If you're going any place, if we're sitting in workshops, whatever, we're in Uh the front. But anyway, uh, I would get on that bus, and yeah. sit in the back of the bus with my girlfriend, and we would go downtown and we would sit in mm-hmm. some of the stores that we were not supposed to be there. And, right. you know, we take those racial slurs and mm. understand that we still had a right and a privilege to do what's what. Right. And so there is a militant side to me. Yeah. And I, I, I've taken that militant side to, of me and mm-hmm. molded it into a professional side of me mm. that does not tolerate uh nonsense ins- nonsense come on with the word <laughs> i'm gonna say insubordination as though i was over there in, the, in my in principal the, days yes, you did. yes. yes. <laughs> but you're right nonsense it's funny it's so apropos that i would have you as a guest leading up to martin luther king day that's right it's that's coming right. up it's the third coming. monday yes it Look is at this. Look how organized this yes he yes. orchestrated this yes he did yes hmm. he did because he wanted us to be mindful of the fact that it was but not for Dr. King, a lot of the peaceful things that we learned about Mm -hmm. demonstrating and making sure that we are a part of the process of moving things along would not have happened. 
and Dr. King was rooted in the church. Let's go there. Yes. He was rooted in the church. And so his nonviolent stance mm -hmm. made a difference for many of us along the way. Yes, it did. Yeah. Absolutely. So what would you say to a young woman that uh, looks up to you? She's aspiring to be like you. What are some nuggets or some uh, tips that you would give her, you know, to... I'm talking about how to pattern her day or, or order her day. Yeah. The small habits that lead to the end results to that could lead her to become a prototype of Dr. Jacqueline Horton Common. Wow. Wow. When we talk about prototype, we're we're speaking of someone who wants to emulate the things, the positive things yes, that you are about. The positive things. And so what do I say to young women? And I, I get that question all the time mm -hmm. or, or a phrase all the time about I want to grow up and be just like you. And I'm mm -hmm. thinking, baby, you have no <laughs> idea. You know, have no idea what right. we went through to get mm -hmm. to this point. But there are some nuggets, and I'll share those with you. Uh, first of all, you, the new book that yes. has just come out, and mm -hmm. that is According to His Purpose. Yes. Uh, you all have seen this. You've seen this big hat that yes. Cicely Tyson wore, and, mm -hmm. and Pharrell captured this picture on the yes. front of the book. But there is a message in what this book says, and it says, An Appointment with God on Purpose. On purpose. So what do you say to any young lady who is, is aspiring to do the things that I do on a mm -hmm. consistent basis. Right. The first thing I would say is that you've got to have structure in your life. Structure. You've got to have structure with your life. And in that structure, God has to be first. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a former math teacher, so I think first, second, third. He yes. is first. Yes. And he is first in my life. He should be first in your life. Yes. So what does the day look like when you are structuring your day? Yes. You set an appointment with him very early in the morning when yes. I wake up. And mm -hmm. I can say this from my vantage point because I am semi-retired. Mm -hmm. I have a business that I run, but I don't have to report to someone else's mm -hmm. uh, job and, and clock in and all of that. But even if you do, you can wake up and the first thing you do is open your eyes and give thanks unto God for another day. Yes. Because the old folks say it could have been your cooling board. <laughs> Oh, Lord, have mercy. Your yeah, your man yeah, could have been your cooling yes. board. So what do you say, baby? Put him first. Open your eyes and say thank you for another day. Yes. And then if you have time to lay there a few minutes, ask him to give you the directions for the day. Yes. Give you the directions for the day because I'm telling you, there is so much that will be bombarded with you, mm -hmm. negative and positive things that we have no control over. But if you open your eyes and mm -hmm. let him set your day, yes. give you the direction, order your steps for the day, mm -hmm. then you will be on the right pathway. Yes. Uh, so you, you're doing that. You're having that appointment with him first thing in the morning on and when on purpose, mm -hmm. on purpose. And the appointment is I say something to him. Yes. Appointment. He says something back to me and I take what it is he has given me mm -hmm. and I go forth with that. Mm -hmm. That is most, most important. Some people use calendars and, um, and I do that. I, I am a writer, so I'm always listing things down. Mm -hmm. uh, so I want to always have him speak to me from the Holy Spirit perspective. Yes. And I'll write those things down that he has told me to do. Sometimes you'll hit, hear it. Uh, audibly from the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Sometimes I'll have my TV on in the mornings. I don't do anything mm -hmm. in most cases before 10 a.m. Right. I can afford to do that. Yeah. You know, at my <laughs> age, I can afford to not get All up right. earlier than uh -oh. that. Yeah. Gonna, You're gonna, I you, like that. You like that? Yes. yes, indeed. So you have a chance to say, my day will start at this point in time. Mm -hmm. So the phone does not come on the text messages do not go on. Mm -hmm. I don't get on Facebook and do X, Y, and Z unless I've got something like the promotion of your show uh -huh. going on when I'm going to do some things early in the morning. Right. So for an individual, a lady who is trying to emulate me, right. you've got to do what? Put God first. Put God first. Structure your day structure and your make day. sure that when you structure your day, you're asking him to tell you what it is he's needing for you to do. Mm -hmm. And then you go out and perform those tasks that he has for you. Keep in mind, God wants us to serve people. Mm -hmm. That's the only way that his glory gets manifested in the earth because mm -hmm. he's using us 
as the instruments to do for others. So I'm always listening for what is it that you want me to do for someone else? Mm -hmm. And then when he tells me that, then I'm going to move forward. The other thing that I do when I talk about having the TV on, their specific shows that I watch early morning, yes. my girlfriends know that I don't turn on the news. I have to ask them, what's going on in the world? Right. <laughs> I don't turn on the news either. Yeah, because mm. that the news will uh, infiltrate yes. that positive spirit that you're wanting to have. Right. So I get up in the morning and I turn on um uh, I want Joyce Myers to talk to me yeah. because Joyce Myers will tell you some things. Yes, you will. Uh, I want um, Creflo Dollar to uh -huh. talk to me because right. Creflo Dollar can tell you that we walk by faith mm -hmm. and it is by God's grace that yes. we are here. We yes. cannot earn, right. although we think we've got all this going on, we cannot earn God's grace. He right. gives it to us. So yes. I have to listen to Creflo Dollar. Listen to Creflo Dollar. And you know that I listen to T.D. Jakes. Yes. Because he, T.D. Jakes said, that's right. Mm -hmm. T.D. Jakes says that if you surrender to God yes. and do those things that he has called you to do, mm -hmm. then it's going to happen. He, You will multiply mm -hmm. on this earth based on the things that T.D. Jakes gives us. So that so yeah. does that make sense? Yes. Starting your day early in the morning with the right things going in your right. head. Structure. Structure. Making sure that structure is Ask there. God. You talk to God. I do. And then you wait to hear back from him. But yeah. what about to the young woman that is new in Christ and she doesn't know how to hear back from him? She's, she's praying and she's searching and, and she wants to know how to, to know the voice of God, how to hear his voice clearly. Yes. What would you tell her? I would tell a young lady who is not sure mm -hmm. of God's voice to hear me tonight and, and listen to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. God is about love. Yes. So anything that comes in your spirit or that's talking in your ear, that's not about loving people, mm -hmm. it's not of God. Yes. God want us to serve others. Serve. Yes. Not it's not about ourselves. Yes, mm -hmm. you'll get the fine car and you get the clothes mm -hmm. and all of that, but it comes from service. Yes. You'll know it's God because the voice will be sweet to your spirit. Mm. It's not going to agitate you. And you'll know it's God because he wants what's best for you. Right. So just like your honey bun <laughs> or they call what do they call these guys? You you, just just like your boo speaks <laughs> things into your ear that makes yes. you feel good. Uh -huh. uh, when you hear that voice from God, you will feel mm, like Kathy Taylor said. Yeah. she's like, mm, 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 yeah. good girl. He'll do yes. that. He'll send it to you in a song. He will. Yes. And you'll feel good when yes. you hear that song. Yes, he will. Uh huh. And so, huh. you're very confident in God and in yourself and you should be mm -hmm. and hmm. before before we break we're going to talk a little bit more about your products but I want you to speak to the development mm -hmm. of confidence in a woman oh, that stems I'm talking about godly confidence how to build that yes within yourself as a a woman of God how how does she build that how do you build God confidence? You build God confidence by having a relationship with him. Mm -hmm. You can't build anything without that relationship. You can't yes. build anything that's, that's, that relates to God confidence without having God in your life. That's the first right. thing. Right. The other thing that you must do is get in front of the mirror and rather than spending so much time looking at our lashes, mm -hmm. <laughs> let me go there, <laughs> okay. our brows, because, uh -huh. you know, that's, those are the popular things right now that mm -hmm. we're wearing masks. Rather than looking in the, in the mirror and seeing those things and think mm -hmm. that it's the beauty mark of those things that mm -hmm. make us confident. Yes. Baby, you better speak to yourself. Yes. Get in the mirror and say, well, you got to know some scripture, too. Mm -hmm. Get in the mirror and say, I can do. Yes. All, all things. things. That's right. <laughs> and then put your, you know, put the motion in your back. Yeah, put your back in it. Put your back in it. I can do it. <laughs> if you don't know it, if you didn't know it tonight, write this down. Mm -hmm. I can do. Yes. All things. All things. All things. All things. Through Christ. Through Christ. Who strengthens me. Strengthens I, I didn't say I'll, I can do it. Yeah. I said I can do it through, through. Christ mm -hmm. who strengthens me. 
Yes. That's wonderful. Say, look in the mirror and tell yourself, I'm the head, baby. Yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm the head. I'm the head and, and not, not the, the tail. tail. That's right. I shall be what? Above mm. and never beneath. Never beneath. My money may, may be funny. Uh, My bills may not be paid. But you know what? I am the head yes. and not the tail. I like that. God is, has a what? Whatever that is on a thousand hills, cattle, cattle mm -hmm. on a thousand hills. That's so right. I know if he's got a cattle on a thousand hills, he will pay my light bill. That's right. <laughs> That's what these young folks need to say. I can do all things. That's right. I can raise this child yes. with God confidence. Oh, yeah. I can pay my bills with, with God confidence. confidence. Come yes. on here. I can live without having a man in my life yes. all the time all the time with god, with confidence. god confidence i can be single and mm -hmm. be happy that's right with god with, confidence with god you better confidence. stand in the mirror and talk to yourself yes I'm it's called know. affirmations yes affirm yourself that's right. affirm yourself baby yes you all hear me tonight yes. affirm yourself affirm yourself and with that and with that <laughs> we're going to break <laughs> i love that affirm yourself affirm yourself because and we're going to want to tell you something different, but I can do. That's right. <laughs> All, All things, things through, through Christ, Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. We're going to break for a moment and break. listen to a couple of songs, and then we will be back. <laughs> we will be back with a dynamic, incomparable, <laughs> often imitated but never duplicated, Doctor Jacqueline Horton Cobbin. Girl, you got some. <laughs> what is about? I love it. I love it. Um, I love it. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and play the music. Oh, yeah. Wow. What do you think, bro? Yep. Yep. Now you trying to do me a favor. Everybody. Everybody. Oh! 
I'm really one. Oh my God, yeah. It's a fix, and we already won. And we already won. And we already won. It's a fix, and we already won. And we already won. It's a fix, and we already won. It's a fix, and we already won. Once again, with yeah. the incomparable Dr. Jacqueline Horton Cobbin. And we just heard Houston's own Jabari Johnson with Fix Fight and Hezekiah Walker and the Love uh, Fellowship Choir with Let's Dance. And so in this particular segment, we're going to be talking to Dr. Cobbin about the book that is in you. Because Dr. Cobbin, if it's anything in you that God wants to get out, I know for a fact that she is a destiny helper that will help you get there. So, Dr. Cobbin, tell us, how do we start our very first book if, we, if we're just starting from ground zero? Yes, that whole process of starting a book, writing a book, wanting a book, uh, it starts with your mindset. You yes. got to be able to say to yourself, this is what I'm wanting to do and understand that there is a process. Mm -hmm. But before we get into the process, I wanted to give out a, a couple of PSA announcements. Yes. There are some um, organizations that I support, some people that I'm supporting right now. And yes. I just want to give a shout out to them mm -hmm. uh, as we move into the second segment. Were you aware that there's a young lady here in the city named Catherine Thomas? Catherine Thomas is running for judge mm. uh, in District 184, yes. uh, the circuit court for uh, that particular judgeship here in our city. Mm -hmm. And if elected, not if, mm -hmm. you know, I can speak some things in play. I know you can. When elected, yes. she will be the youngest female judge hmm. to hold this position. Wow. The wonderful. youngest female mm -hmm. judge. I met her the other day on a conference call mm -hmm. and she is absolutely phenomenal yes. in terms of what her beliefs are and what she's choosing to do for this city as it relates to crime. So yes. I want to give a shout out to uh, Catherine Thomas mm. and what's headed her way. 
Yeah. Okay, so let's jump into the book now. Yeah. I took some notes, I always do, and I brought mm -hmm. those notes with me because right. I did not want to miss anything. First thing I want to say is that every one of us yeah. has a book inside of us. Yeah. Every single person out there has a book inside of you. How do I know that? I know that because you have had experiences along the way. Yeah. You have had events along the way. Mm -hmm. And you have had lessons that you have learned based on these experiences and the events that have gone on in your life that you may not want to tell it all yeah but there is a book inside of you yeah and so i inspire people to think about those things that have gone on because most of us love stories yes we and do. so you're going to be writing for the reader you're not writing for yourself mm -hmm. you're actually writing for the reader just mm -hmm. like what you did mm -hmm. when you came to my house and yes. spent some time with me. There yes. was a book inside of you. And the yes. next thing I knew, it was published. <laughs> yes. So we know that yeah. there is a book inside of everybody. So I challenge you to take that uh, leap of faith mm -hmm. and write your book. Some people cannot necessarily think about putting it on paper. Yeah. That's why we have microphones and tape recorders. Oh, yeah. I say tape recorders. That's, that dates <laughs> me, but you know, recorders. Mm -hmm. That you can put that in your face yes. and you can record that story or mm -hmm. that book and move forward with that. Yeah. I want you to understand that you are writing for the reader. Yes. And so whatever you put down, you have to be sure that it is going to impact the reader hmm. because that's who's going to purchase your book and that's who's going to receive whatever it is God has for them to receive yes. from your book. What do we do in the publishing process? First of all, you hire someone yes. to help you through the process. God told me mm -hmm. the other day that no matter what we think that we can do alone, it takes a team of people to oh, perfect yes. it. Oh, yes. So even with you, I'm sure when you left me and you went and wrote your book, mm -hmm. there was someone that stepped into the picture yes. that helped you to get it to that that uh, last phase of mm -hmm. it and so hire yourself a publisher who will take it and edit it mm -hmm. uh, when you speak with me in terms of Cobbin and Associates that's what we do now yes. you knew that I had published I had written two books published those books and then uh, after doing that along the way mm -hmm. I have been engaged in assisting other people to get their books published yes. that's from the editing to the um book cover, mm -hmm. the the formatting of the book, all mm -hmm. of the essentials that go into that. And then we take it to the level of Amazon.com yes. if that's the, the way you right. choose to mm -hmm. do that. Know that everyone should have someone that's reading behind them. Mm -hmm. That's why it's important to have an editor and mm -hmm. an editor needs an editor. Yeah. <laughs> and so everyone needs to have your manuscript read at least two times yeah. before you send it to that publication process. Mm -hmm. So keep in mind what I just said. There is a book inside of you. There's a book inside of you because there are lessons <laughs> that, that you have learned along the way and experiences that you've had. And it takes a team of people to get it to that particular area. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, I'm glad that you're getting up drinking your water. Bring that glass back over here when you finish drinking your water out of it. Uh, no, I'm good. I want to show the audience something mm -hmm. else about you and me. Mm -hmm. um, you see that stem glass there? You're drinking the water out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I have learned over the years that because we are women of God mm -hmm. and we are so <clears throat> valuable to the kingdom yeah. and we are such a royal priesthood, yeah. those that know me now know that I'm going to drink out of a stem glass yeah. wherever I go. <laughs> and so I would not have come to this uh, mm. show tonight without bringing you a stem glass yeah. just to show you how royal you are you. in the sight of God. <clears throat> Royalty yeah, drinks from you. stem glasses. Yeah. Water, we drink from stem glasses. Juice, we drink from, from stem, stem glasses. glasses. He changed water to wine. Yes, we we drink from stem glasses. Champagne, <laughs> we drink from stem glasses. Yes, right. yes indeed. So our, <clears throat> that symbolizes the royal priesthood that you are mm -hmm. and you're carrying yourself to be Thank as you. part of God. So back to the book. Mm -hmm. Everybody can publish. It, wow. it doesn't take an, um, an, a fleet of people to do so. Mm -hmm. And I just would not have come to this show. I asked you when I came <laughs> in, I said, where is your product? Yes. You know, people 
think that you you're supposed to just speak and talk all the time but you know if you don't have a product when right. you go someplace then it does not um support that's who right. you are about so i'm supporting you tonight because you. this particular book says sisters embracing their destiny yeah love yourself to life that's right yes that's what dr lynn wrote mm -hmm. love yourself to life love yourself to life then earlier today i was talking about how you get up in the morning and you pray and you mm -hmm. ask god for certain things where well, here is a prayer journal that yes. dr lynn has written <laughs> and it says praying 90 days of scripture that's right you don't know scripture I looked in this book again today and you have <laughs> scriptures at the top of each page. Right. It says, train up a child in the way that he should go. Jeez. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Yes. Train them up. Train them up. Single I, mothers, train right. them up. I don't know what to do. Train them up. <laughs> train them up. And when they, when you, when they get older, they may sway away, uh -huh. but they're not going to depart. They're right. coming back, baby. Right. They're coming back. And you have provided them mm -hmm. with scriptures at the very top of the page as you are working through a prayer <clears throat> journal. This That's is right. beautiful. Thank you. I know that this particular show started because people were asking you, mm -hmm. who are you? Yeah. <laughs> who are you? Mm -hmm. Well, this is Dr. J. <coughs> Lynn Hicks mm -hmm. drinking from a stem glass. She's a woman of God with royalty royal Very priesthood true. and she has written at least four books in front of me mm -hmm. and i know there's a fifth one because there was a, that was the first one that you and i started together right. so this girl has written i have 12 books on amazon 12 books yeah. did you all hear that 12 books yes Praise God. I give God the glory. 12 books. Mm, I give God the glory because it's a process. It's a process. And you're going to have interruptions. Yes. You're going to have roadblocks. Yes. You're going to have setbacks. Yeah. But as she said, you got to structure your day, allow God to order them. That's right. And you can't let life happenings deter you from reaching your goal. From reaching your goal. Because the children true. might try to get in the way. Come on now. Your spouse might try to get in the way. Yeah. Your boss might try to get in the way. Uh -huh. The lady at the grocery store might try to get in your way. Yeah. But I tell you what, keep your eye on the prize keep and keep up. your hand in the hand of the man that steals the water. Come on. Your hand in the hand of the man <laughs> that calms the sea. <laughs> And Keep you on. will accomplish your goal. And you will accomplish your goal. Yeah. And you will have products. Yes. Yeah products you will have products yes and you will have another income <clears throat> oh yes you will have multiple streams of income come on now i know td and jakes preaches that yes he does that's you see why yes. i listen to him early yes. morning <laughs> multiple streams Seems of, of income. income that's right uh -huh. you're a speaker yes you're an educator yes you are an author yes you are a singer yes you're a minister yes and with all of those it will be what multiple streams of income even if That's it's a right. lot if even if it's a love offering for ministry yes it's it's a multiple, multiple streams, streams of, income. of income you have children yes does it take money to put these children to oh yes okay don't I you need <laughs> multiple streams need of multiple streams, streams of, of income. income and if there's a lady out here that's listening to me tonight mm -hmm. you need multiple, multiple streams, streams of, of income. income gas prices are up yes you need multiple, multiple streams, streams of, of income. income groceries are high okay so you need multiple, multiple streams, streams of, of income, income. take your gifts uh -huh. take your talents yes. and turn them into multiple, multiple streams, streams of, of income, income. <laughs> And put it in a book, <laughs> and I will publish it. Yes, and you will be a bestseller author. Yeah, that's right. With twelve books, <laughs> girl, twelve. I thought I was doing something with two, but you know what? You I have I have assisted. I looked at my calendar, yeah. my listing today. I have a. I, I sure have. <laughs> I have birthed out. Mm -hmm. I have assisted mm -hmm. over fifteen books. That's right. To be birthed mm -hmm. from other people. That's beautiful. Other people. That's right. They need help. They need help. Mm -hmm. I got 15 other people out there with multiple streams, streams of, income. of income. That's right. And that's what it's all about. That's Jerry Beasley. Jerry Beasley will tell you mm. when we went on her show. Right. She was working. <clears throat> the doc, I'm, I'm going to eventually write it. Next thing I knew when I went back to Jerry's show, right. she handed me her book. Yes. You cannot do what you said you're going to do without producing it. Right. You can say one thing, but you got to come forth with it. Because all of us need to do what God has called us to do. Let me go back there. Yes. According to his purpose. 
Yes, yes, and you don't have to have all of the answers. If you just well, make one step in the direction of that dream, that call that is pulling on you, I'm talking about God will send you destiny helpers. Mm -hmm. You might be saying, I want to write a book, but mm -hmm. I don't know how to write a book. Mm -hmm. Or I want to do a, a podcast or a TV show or whatever have you, but I don't know how to do it. And I'm just saying, you don't have to have all of the answers. The answers. But just by networking with other positive people, surrounding right. yourself with like-minded individuals, you know, God will put people in your pathway to help you write that book. He will put people in your pathway to help you get your podcast or your show or your whatever it is you want for your multiple stream Strange of income. Of income. Mm -hmm. That's a word right there. I, <laughs> yes. Multiple, multiple streams, streams of, of income. income. I yeah. believe God is raining down on some people right now and birthing some ideas inside of you. They might have been lying dormant, yes. but I believe that through Dr. Cobbins, uh, testimonies and golden nuggets and her impartation and the word of God that's just oozing out of her pores. There's no way you could have listened to this and not come up with you a multiple stream of income. income. She's so, you know, she's so full of passion and excitement wow. and, you know, she's just ignited with the word of God. I'm telling you, it is contagious. Wow. And, you know, God is a God of creation. He's, a, you know, he's a creating God. He can take it, it can Anything. be without form and void. He'll he'll speak to it. Yes, sir. you gotta you gotta put this into action. Yes. Now you're gonna watch and listen to Dr. Cobb, but then what are you gonna do when the podcast is off? That's so I'm true. saying you gotta speak some things into existence. Like you may have been hurt, you may have been let down or disappointed. You know, life may have tossed you to and fro, and sometimes when that happens, people want to give up and retreat and, and they want to stay hidden and live in recluse. But I'm, you know, I invite you tonight to come out, you know, yes. come out from amongst them, come out of the shadows, yes. come out of hiding. You know, yes. COVID has caused us to be isolated oh, yeah. and we have pulled back and we're comfortable pulling back. Yes. And we joke about how we go into the New Year's wash night service in our pajamas and we're going to go to all these programs right here on the couch and we're comfortable. comfortable. It's comfortable. Yeah. But to write these books and to acquire these multiple streams of income, you're going to have to get out of your pajamas and get out of your comfort zone and come <laughs> on with it, y'all. And become uncomfortable. Yes. You know, the best work is done when you are uncomfortable. That's right. You know, when you're working in school systems or corporate America and your supervisor is just all on your case yes. and you're just like, I really want to slap him or her, <laughs> but rather than that, I'm going to show him what I'm yes. made of. Yes. That's the kind of attitude we should have. Let me show you. Uh -huh. Tell the devil, I'm going to show, show you. you what I'm made of. That's so right. when you come with me, uh -huh. come at me with something, I'm going to show you what I'm made of. And mm -hmm. I come out swinging. That's right. I really do. <laughs> My granddaughters can tell you in a minute. Yeah. Grandmommy comes out swinging, right. baby. You Full better not come with, come with me with any negative stuff. Uh -huh. Go home with that negative stuff. So I'm coming out <laughs> swinging with the positive. Uh, where's your book, uh -huh. Hannah? Yeah. My little grandbaby uh -huh. in the 10th grade yeah. has written a book. Praise Bring God. It. Yeah. Go big or go, go home. Go big or go home. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yes. My girlfriend, my goddaughter, mm -hmm. honey, has multiple streams of income. That's right. She works at a daycare. Uh -huh. She's worked at Amazon. Uh -huh. She can do makeup. She comes over and makes money off me. Uh, hey, Jackie, you want your ma your face made up? I know what she's after. She's yeah. after that multiple streams of income. That's right. But she's got the gift and talent, so mm -hmm. I let her use it. That's right. That's what we teach our little girls. Mm -hmm. Show them what it is they can do. Show them their giftedness yeah. and allow them to get multiple streams of income, That's whatever right. it is. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, we mm -hmm. should not be too high and mighty that we cannot mm -hmm. do what needs to be done mm -hmm. to make sure that our financial needs are met. That's right. And serving others mm -hmm. will help you get those financial needs met. That's right. I'll tell you that in a minute, baby. And our father's rich. He's a God of abundance. Like you said, Ooh, yes, the man. cattle on a thousand hills <laughs> is ours to claim. He wants us to have multiple streams of income. Yes, he, does. Yes, he wants us to, like he, like he said, be a royal priesthood. Yeah. He wants you to live a top shelf life. Yeah. He wants you to be an A lister what for do you Jesus. Know about top shelf. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saying you don't want to be on the bottom of the bucket. So I'm saying the antithesis of that, Doctor Cobb, right. would be to be on the top of the shelf. That's now, right. for those that drink, I know that the, they tell me the most expensive alcohol is located 
on the top of the shelf when you go to the wine and liquor store. But I'm talking about having a top shelf life as in a quality, yes. a life of excellence, yes. a life walking in kingdom uh, uh, authority. authority. Yeah, dominion, power, kingdom, authority. When I say top shelf. That's right. I'm saying, you know, I believe that great things in, lie ahead for us after after yes, the, the COVID situation mm -hmm. and coming out of COVID. I believe that now we've reset and it's time for us to move forward yes. and pursue our purpose with passion. with passion and so that's what i'm saying when i say top shelf life mm -hmm. dr Conner. i appreciate it i appreciate <laughs> it you know because everybody that's on this call are not necessarily understanding of top shelf lifestyle true they, you know they related to the liquor bottle and they, that's right. okay too mm -hmm. because liquor that liquor bottle that says top shelf is the top quality yes. we want them to get the the understanding <laughs> yes. of top quality yes. top shelf mm -hmm. top shelf lifestyle right. not top shelf liquor right yes. yes i can't it, believe it can you believe it is 8 37 is it really yes <laughs> my my mom aren't we having fun they told us to have fun yeah and that's exactly what we we're doing definitely having fun yeah i mean this is our, our hour is almost up yeah but i've certainly enjoyed being here with you on today i'm glad I'm and glad. i i want the viewers to know i'm just saying i'm just want them to acknowledge the fact that we had such a royal guest as our first guest and she is a senior sales director with mary Kay, and they call her unit the royalty unit yes because i know you had something to do with that i <laughs> did <laughs> because yeah. i know you walk and you live and you eat and you breathe royalty and excellence That's right. and so it's so apropos that god would allow us to start the show off with a royal uh t an elite a royal member of society to to start us off here on the podcast I'm, uh, I'm honored myself i appreciate all of those uh, <laughs> accolades i really do all of those titles and what have you but yeah. let me go back to what i wanted all right go ahead <laughs> say to you. uh you can be royal mm -hmm. on a tight budget yes you see how we brought out that glass yeah i've got some glasses at home that i got from the dollar store they're the, just as pretty yeah stamped mm -hmm. glasses yeah, mm -hmm. you can ride around in a car that does not have a Mercedes label on it. That's right. Or a um, Jaguar. I love my Jaguar. Yeah, just throwing that out yeah. there. <laughs> you can carry yourself in such a way mm -hmm. that people around you will mm -hmm. be drawn to you because you look like yes you got it going on. That's right. That's what I want to leave with the audience. Look like you got it going on. Mm. Create <clears throat> an image for yourself. The little kids used to say, mm -hmm. Dr. Coppin, are you rich? They'd mm -hmm. look up at me and say, mm -hmm. are you rich? Mm -hmm. And I would just chuckle in the back mm -hmm. of my head. Yes. <laughs> the father that I serve yes. is. Yes. And you can have all of this too. <clears throat> so it's important for us to look yeah. the part. Yeah. That's where I wanted to go with Mary Kay and all of that. You right. got to look the part. Look Mary the Kay part. requires us to wear skirts and pantyhose. Mm. Yes, we do. Okay. To our, our formal meetings. Now we can do some other things outside of that. Mm. But that's what we look like. Yes. And then once we look a certain way, we open our mouths and we're very articulate. Yes. We get the job done. Oh, yes. We do. get the job done. Mm -hmm. And then we train other women to become directors and consultants along the way. Mm -hmm. So it's not about us driving the pink Cadillac, right. it's about them driving the pink Cadillac. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. People yeah. behind us driving the pink Cadillac makes it possible for us to drive the pink Cadillac. Mm -hmm. So it is about others rather than ourselves. Mm -hmm. If you go around, um, walking around your life, thinking that all things rise and shine mm -hmm. on your Yes, if you think <clears throat> everything rises and shines on you, then you have missed the mark right. because everything rises and shines on him and he has required us to serve others. And I declare, Dr. J, J yes. if you serve others, yes. he will make it possible for you. Yeah. Praise you know how I moved out of a... um little Mercedes mm -hmm. to a Jaguar. How did you do it? I picked up a friend of mine who had uh, a terminal <clears throat> illness, could not walk. Mm. And I would pick her up on Sunday mornings and take her to church mm -hmm. until she passed away. Yeah. So my vehicle was used for mm -hmm. kingdom work. Amen. And so when it was time for me to get a Jaguar yeah. while I was in a court 
setting being sued for a million dollars, God allowed me to get that Jaguar. Oh, wonderful. He didn't allow me to get it because of just because of my good deed. Mm -hmm. But he knew that once I got in it, that I was going to tell everybody how how I got that Jaguar. (laughs) Yes, because of his goodness Mm -hmm. and his grace. And when you are faithful unto him, he will be faithful unto you. That's why I'm making sure that we we say to others on the listening audience tonight, you've got to serve other people. Yes. You got to serve others. Yes. Because that's what kingdom work is all about. Oh yes. Well, wow. I you know wow. what I really they say all good things must come to an end. Yeah. And I certainly hate to bid my guests farewell, Dr. Common. Uh, 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 uh. We got <laughs> I hate to go to, <laughs> I know, because we're talking about multiple streams, streams of, of income, income. Yes. for His glory. That's right. Serving others, mm-hmm. and because you have chosen to serve others through this podcast, yes, everybody better watch because <laughs> there is some kingdom blessings coming out of this. Oh, thank you. And I just thank God that you allowed me to be the first one. Yes, <laughs> to see it happen. I and love you, Doctor. Dr. Lynn, and I you love know you I too. do. I love you too, Dr. Yes, J. ma'am. And yes. I love all of you out there too. Thank you for spending your time with us. Yes, thank you so mm-hmm. much for spending your time with us for my mm-hmm. debut podcast, Let's Talk Houston. Okay. I am your host, Dr. J. Lynn Hicks, yeah. with the incomparable, legendary Dr. Jacqueline Horton Cobbin. Please support Dr. Cobbin. Purchase your book, an, a- an appointment. Yeah. Yeah, here it is. An appointment with God on purpose. Uh And again, I just want to. And this was her first book, according to his purpose. So you can see that everything she's doing is intentional. It's not by accident because her titles are are telling us to be on purpose and to do it according to his purpose. Uh And if we do that, we will never fail. And there is the, okay. The stem glass. There's the stem glass. That represents yes. royalty. Be a woman of excellence. <laughs> Walk in your kingdom authority and dominion power. And with that, I bid you all farewell. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.